Well, here's the thing. If you just keep stacking and stacking and stacking and you get multiple of those implications under the weight of your structure, what happens to your business? Any ideas? We're gonna jump into some stats. I'm gonna be talking about for those business owners in the room or those individuals growing and scaling your business. And I'm gonna explain exactly how you need to grow your business in order to build a $25 million business than $125 million business. There's seven break points in business from startup to 125 million. There's only four from 125 million to a billion. So why is it when you get bigger, those break points get a lot wider? It's much harder to get a business from to 100 grand and then to a million and then to 3 million because you're doing it all by yourself. By the time you're at 125 million to 175 million, you got people, you got systems, you got process, you got technology. You couldn't get to 125 million if you didn't have all that. And that allows you to springboard. But big move from three to 125 million. But if you wanna create generational net worth, you just need to go to 25 million. Who wants to leave here with a plan to get to 25 million bucks? That's right. Who wants to leave here with a plan to get to 125 million? Uh, we'll educate you on the fact there is a plan. It's gonna be up to you to make a decision if you wanna understand that plan. Okay, so let's get some stats out here. There's 31 million small to mid-sized businesses in the United States. 25 million of those businesses have a single employee, the founder. Most of those founders left their job because of what they didn't want, didn't want a boss, didn't want accountability, didn't want a limitation on their earnings, and now they have a business that they can't hire anybody because they think people are hard to hire because they were hard to deal with. If you're working for somebody right now and you're thinking, I might wanna leave where I'm at and go start my own business, I wanna make you a promise. I've interviewed tens of thousands of entrepreneurs with 10 years of research. There's this funny thing that happens with our inherent belief system. How you leave your business, you will believe that's how everyone's gonna leave the business you start. So if you do it and you mistreat the business you're leaving, like sitting on the business's payroll for six months while you're organizing your deal and not putting any energy into the business, or stealing customers from the business that you're leaving to go start your own company. However you leave your place you're at to go start your business, you will believe everyone will do the same thing to you. Do you guys understand this? So leave correctly, leave with integrity. Don't sit on somebody else's payroll and suck their payroll and justify it. Whatever you do with integrity, ethics, you will think everyone else is gonna do that to you or the lack thereof. So set yourself up for huge success. And here's a question you might ask yourself is, maybe you work for a business owner that's a little bit confused. You know how hard it is to build a business? So look at the stats, 5.3 million have between two and 11 employees. Only 600,000 of businesses have more than 12 employees. So. What that tells you, if you're doing $250,000 of revenue per employee and you have 12 employees, what's that revenue number? Three million. You know why that's an interesting thing? Three million is the top end of break point one. So I just wanna tell you, all businesses under $100 million of revenue, 98% are trapped under three million. It's hard to get out of three million. So for those of you that busted through that, congratulations. But once you do bust through it, First milestone you can easily get to if you technically understand it is 25 million, then 125. Now, two thirds of the businesses fail in the first five years. 97% fail within 10 years. That's even the big ones if they make it to 10 years. Why would a business that's 10 or 15 or 20 million fail after 10 years? Could be a whole variety of things. What if you knew 98% of all those things before they happen? Because there's a consistent, with all the research we've done, there's a very specific, consistent theme about what happens at each break point and how those break points compound on each other and then how the businesses collapse under their own weight. And there's an old saying, and there's a reason that saying is around. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. See, they create velocity on the way down. If you know that you're gonna build a business, you set your targets, 250 to $500,000 of revenue per employee. Those are targets. Usually a $250,000 business on average will generate 18 to 22% profit and a half a million of revenue per employee is like 22 up to 45. And there's a range there because if you're a software company, it's gonna be different than if you're a construction company. So if you know those are your first two rules and you wanna build a company to a million dollars, it's you plus three. 250 times four is what? It's a million. Now you use the rule of three, you train these guys to each have three in their work groups and now you have nine. What's nine times 250? Now, if you can build it at 500,000, nine times 500,000 is 4.5. So now you have a business that's between 2.2 million 
and 4.5 million. And you keep playing the game, one to three to nine to 27. When you're at 27 people at 250 or 500,000, how big is your business? At 500,000, it's 13.5 million. And what is it at 250? Half of that. So what is that, 6.75? So you see how we just engineered a business up into break point three? All you need to know is what can we do to generate? There's a hundred of you in this room that have businesses that generate between $225,000 and $750,000 of revenue per employee. So can that be done? Yes or no? This is the work I did for 10 years with a bunch of research companies. If we went around the room and did that, what's your profitability? What's your profitability? What's your profitability? What's your profitability? All of a sudden you have Revenue, how many years it took you to get there. Revenue per employee, profitability. And if you do that over thousands of businesses, what do you learn? You learn this data. How many years, how many employees, reverse engineer, reverse engineer, and all of a sudden you have a model. You have an algorithm for success. What caused you to break at three million? What were the three to five things that caused you to break? You get enough people to identify those three to five things, you find the three that everybody had to deal with. Then you do the same thing in break point two. Then you do the same thing in break point three. Then you do the same thing in break point four. Then you do the same thing in break point five. Well, here's the thing. If you just keep stacking and stacking and stacking and you get multiple of those implications under the weight of your structure, what happens to your business? Any ideas? If you decided you're gonna build a one story house and you just kept stacking another story and another story and another story, what would eventually happen? And if you're in the building space, you'd be like, well, you can't do that because they send engineers out. They send people that have to pull permits and they send inspectors out and they, well, why do they do that? Because a hundred years ago, they didn't do that and enough people died. You guys agree? Like if you just wing building your building, it eventually could collapse, true or false. And yet I looked at that because I built a few buildings. I'm like, this process is pretty rigid, right? You don't get to wing it. You know, let's add a few feet here and open those walls up. You can do that. But how come in business you can? Why hasn't anyone engineered and put rules in place for business if we always know what causes them to break, crash, collapse? Why has nobody put rules in place and told you as a business owner before you add that next level, you gotta pull this permit? Does it make you a little curious? It took me 12 years and I had to go prove it with my first company and sell it for a huge value. But this is what I did with the public company. I went to all their little companies and grew them all, which allowed the whole company to grow. So if you knew the secrets at each one of these breakpoints that needed to be in place to have a strong foundation so you can engineer your business to keep stacking as big as you want it to go and you knew what things and what elements needed to be in place and you knew what things were indicators that something was wrong, how much faster would you grow your business? Would you do it 10x faster? Can I hear a 10x then? Yes. How much faster would you grow your business if you knew exactly how to do it? Yes.